hey everyone welcome to another tutorial and in this video today I will show you how you can create a backup of your WordPress site and use it to restore your site to a previous point where it was perfect working normally in case for example in case your website gets hacked which is very common as WordPress powers almost 50% of the websites on web so it is a very lucrative target for hackers to try to hack into your WordPress site and there are a lot of vulnerabilities in plugins themes so a lot of site gets hacked or in second case for example there was uh, any problem with the server and your website broke or you accidentally made some changes you made some new changes or installed a new plugin or install a new theme and your website stopped working so in that case if you have a backup you can use it to restore your site to a previous point where it was working normally so let's start first you have to do is to log into your wordpress admin dashboard for that go to my blog and then click on dashboard and from here go to plugins and from here go to add new and now go to the search bar and search for a plugin updraft and you will see this plugin updraft plus wordpress backup plugin click on install now And after installing the plugin, click on activate. Okay, so now we have installed this Updraft Plus plugin and activated it. So now you will see this instructions. Just click on press here to start. Okay, so now this will show you the tutorial to how to create your first backup. Just follow this, click on backup now. In take this option. Then click on take both this option and then click on backup now. Okay, so this is how simple it is to create a backup of your WordPress website using this plugin. So now you can close this tutorial window. And now you will see the log message. The backup apparently succeeded and is now complete. And you will see the time and date. Now here from here you can see the existing backup. And okay, so now our man, this is the method to take a manual backup backup of your WordPress site and now let's learn how to restore this backup okay and here you can also see this backup data contains database plugins themes uploads and other so okay so now to restore restore our website what you have to okay for example let's let me delete one of my post Okay, so this is the post uh, created. I will delete it. Okay, and now it doesn't exist here. Okay, so now let's try to restore my site using the backup and see if I can restore that post back. Go to plugins. Okay, now scroll down and locate this updraft plugin and go to settings or alternatively you can also go to settings and from here go to updraft plus back backups uh, this is will be a better method to do it okay so now from uh, here you can see the existing backups and I will and then here you can see the all the available actions restore delete view log so with log if there was any problem in creating this backup you can see that in log to diagnose it so now let's click on restore and from restoring will replace sites theme plugin upload database and or other content directories according to what is contained in the backup 
and your selection choose the components to restore so now I want to restore all these components so I will just take them all you have to take them all okay and then click on next and here you can see backup files have been successfully processed now press restore again to proceed so again click on restore and now this will verify and restore our site has been restored to the backup version so now here from here you will see this restore successful message and an action to return to updraft plus configuration or you can go to the same page from by clicking on this button so click here and now let's see if that post has been restored again so what i will do is go to my website and refresh it okay now as you can see that post has again been restored so this is how you manually take a backup and manually restore your site to a previous point okay so now what we have to learn is how to automate this or schedule this backups see if uh, so that you don't have to manually take this backup every time and you can actually focus on creating content and not worry about missing a backup missing taking backups so to take uh, schedule backups for what we have to do is go to settings and from here file backup schedule and from here select you can select uh, setting you want so for example we i want to take backup daily so click on daily and retain for here i will click on seven and same seven. so now what this will do is this will take a backup daily and retain it for a week so one backup uh, for every week uh, seven backup for you so you will always have backup of the last seven days okay now what we want to do is choose a remote storage because obviously if something goes wrong with the server or it gets hacked then your backup will also be gone so now what we have to do is select a uh, remote cloud storage so that even if uh, in case our website gets hacked or there is any problem with the server we will still have our backup so for example here i will select google drive and and you can uh, and if you have a very mission critical site or a very important site uh, what i would suggest you to do is use this option you can send a back and send your backup to more than one destination so that that it will be also be stored in a, another place just in case something goes wrong with your google drive or it also gets hacked you will have another alternative backup stored but this is really uh, very for the pro sites which have very important data or yeah, there's a high risk of getting hacked so or if you just want to be safe I would suggest you to do what you to do is select uh, backup to more than one destination so if you want to backup to more than destination uh, you will require an add-on to get this add-on please cl click on the cards link here you will see a arrow key okay so now let's go back to the tutorial so now what you have to do is yeah just keep this things default and click on save changes and then you will see remote storage authentication then just click on this link to authorize Google Drive account now from here select your Google account now you will see what this plugin wants to will have which permissions click on allow
okay from here you will be able to send backup so you now click on complete setup okay so here you can see this message you have authenticated your google drive account name best wp your google drive quota used and this much data available so now what you have to do with now this will take a schedule backup every time and so daily this will take another uh, take a backup every day and for seven days it will keep it and after seven day your backup will be deleted so you will always have backup for the last seven days and you can see all the backups available from last seven days here so okay so now let's learn how to take backup um, manual backup and restore store it on your cloud click on backup now and now this time select this option send this backup to remote storage click on backup now Now you can see the log message it is uploading to the Google Drive. Okay, so now let's close it. And you can see here, show more, show all backups. You can see here, this has been uploaded to also to the Google Drive. And this was the first manual backup we took. And it was not stored on Google Drive. So uh, let's see, check our Google Drive if this backup is available there. And here you can see this folder. Now you don't have to do any, make any changes to this. This is just to show you that it has been successfully uploaded to Google Drive. So let's close this and go back to our dashboard. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any suggestion or feedback to improve tutorials, please post in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.